Hello guys, and today I'll be doing a video about wild horse islands. So to know what a good horse is, you want to um, take out your lasso and you can see how much, um, look, how much time you have to lasso them to get them. So basically, the higher the time that you need to lasso it, that means the more rare it is. It could have like a rare stat or like, it can have like a rare stat or like a rare coat. And it could just be a rare breed. So that's one way to get some horses by lassoing it. To craft a lasso, you're going to need a rope and any type of ore or stone. So as you can see by the crafting recipes, we have some lassos over here. And you can also have a stone wooden lasso. So you can just get wood easily by just punching it, just breaking some trees. So I just gonna take this tree. I got some wood. And you see, just need one rope and one wood. So and basically the more rare the like ore is, the better like the lasso it is. So basically the better the lasso, it means like it catches more than just one at a time. And also it has like a wider range. So right now I have a bronze lasso, which is like over here. See, I have some ores, so I use them. And to get some rope, you can either it's find it on the ground, which I wouldn't really recommend them getting rope, but you could find it randomly. And the way I recommend is just the easiest way is just buying some rope. So you can see it's just $50, $50 for a rope. And also you can just trade for it. But also another way of getting horses, which I mostly do when I'm getting like a rare horse, because it's hard to get a rare horse. I usually buy them from, from Hogan, the horse salesman. So basically up here it would say Hogan has new horses for sale. So basically each day, there's new horses and sometimes there could be a rare horse for sale. So it would say like in green, um, it would say like in green, Hogan, um, there's a rare horse for sale on any island. So like, for example, <coughs> let's say uh, there's a rare horse for sale on the mainland and it was like this horse. So basically it would be money it would be actual money and usually the rare horses would be for sale as Robux. So yeah, that's another way. And also you can just trade your horses for like another horse, a rare horse, anything. So that's about it. So now that I talked about how to get horses, so now we're gonna talk about breeding. So you should go, and there's a breeding center in mainland that allows you to breed horses. It's a bit complicated how it works. So basically you say, I want a foal, and you can choose any horse that you want that's a girl, and you need a horse, any horse that you want that's a boy. So uh, you have to have 25 hearts. You see right here, these hearts, you have to have 25 of them. You get them by doing a task. So let's say, look like up here, they said, I want, I want like some food. So you give them food and then you get hearts. So basically any task you do, go to equipment and like, let's say you want to brush, you brush them. But right now it doesn't have that task on, so it won't get any hearts. So it'll go be right here and there'll be like a exclamation point. And when you, so, when you get to 25 of these hearts, you can breed them. So, let's just say, for example, I'm going to breed this one and 
that one. So, so there's like chances of them getting. It. So basically, it'll get a coat from one of these horses, and then it'll be the breed from one of these horses. So basically, let's say I'm gonna breed them, and I get like this one. It gets. It's basically just all of this mother. So it'll be right here. Uh, also, you can do this because it'll get the coat from the dad and the breed from the mom. But also, it can just get like completely other coats. Like it would just be like, let's say I bred this and I got like, I don't know, a brown thoroughbred. It can sometimes happen like that. Also, with breeding, you can also get like a unique outcome and a special outcome with your horse. So basically, it's like a rare chance. So let's say I'm gonna breed these guys. There's like a chance that I'll get like a special unique breed. So basically, I think it'll be like so like some special and unique horses would kind of, would kind of look like. Look like um they have like different I feel like they have like both coats of their mother. So it basically it'll be like some some style. I don't have one, but it's like be it'll be like like in different styles that have like both coats of their mom and dad they work with. So let's say they I think like say if I went with like sometime I think there's like a a bridal color, I think, like where it could be like kind of like, stripes on the horse. Um, and also, there's like one horse would be like basically one coat would be like here, and another coat, what color would be like, here and here and like here, kind of like that. So it'd be like each part section would be like a different color, like two different colors. So yeah, um, and also like some would be like. Um, some I mostly see would like be like it'd be like a brown, kind of like a brownish black coat with like kind of like a, like a light brown spots on it, and it'd be like kind of like a mixture between that like light brown. Yeah, it'd be like a dapple like a brown, dark brown coat, and with like some spots would be like yeah, some spots would be like black, and some parts would be like dark dark brown. Yeah, I think we'll like be like that. So yeah, that's how it works. And like the more rare the horses, that, the rare the horses you're breeding, the more it costs to breed. So it's like a chance, and you have to grow them up when you should be able to ride them. And like. The fastest way to grow them up is by doing tasks, like they say with the hearts, so you do tasks that they want, and it'll make them like grow by like five, uh, like like a five percent, I think. Um, or you could just like leave it out outside for it to grow, but that takes a pretty long time, so I do not recommend that. So. And also in the breed center, you can buy foals here. They're less, they're less expensive because you have to grow them up. And yeah, so you can buy these. And there can also be rare foals for sale. So that can happen too. Yeah, so right here is like the boat dock. And this lets you take to like other islands, not just the mainland. Like you spawn in mainland first, but there's other islands you unlock, like you see each level you get. Like right now I'm level 128, so I can't go to these islands because I need to get to that level. So each island has their own like rare horse. I think like some most islands have their own like rare horse. So basically, uh, for example, like on um, the desert, 
they're all like a rare horse is the red roan horse you see, see red roan coat this Appaloosa um and the um blizzard island their horse is like um is like this leopard coat one so I think you get it so it's like that so basically you can and you also have your own private island over here that you can go to and you can go to other private islands if like there's unlocked to you so like some people like trade there you can like role play there so This is your private island. So basically, um, so you can go into wild mode and stuff like in here. So you can have your own like stable with your horses that you can put in. So you can like upgrade and edit your place so you can see this. You click edit and you like, put edit your password. So you can like change the color, which will mean you need like, let's say for example, I want this. I need these green cores. So. You need like some stuff to color your like you design your place. So you can also like upgrade your place. So you can see you can upgrade it. It hold more horses because of right now from the hook two. And also here's this stable. So I usually just leave my phones here to grow. So I think that like helps you like in there's a he there's a in max inventory space, so I think you can like put your extra horses here, so you can get max. So and so you can upgrade and like I like change this to like you see I change it and customize it. Um, yeah, um, you can also get your own farm which you can upgrade and you can like grow your seeds so you go from farming and you have like seeds. So I have wheat seeds. So right now, I can just grow them by picking here. And I got this cotton seed, so I can put them here. So then you can just wait for the grow. You can see it's ready in 45 minutes. So. And then you get like XP by growing them. And also you can feed what you grow to your horses. And over here, which I didn't use yet, I didn't make yet, is like, your train it's like a show show stable so right here you can like ride in here so it can so you can change and you can add like all of this stuff in here so you can see right here so you can just put all your all your stuff right here so you can like basically do like role playing here like if you want to do like show jumping or like shows or yeah like or games in here so you can do that with like horse training. So that's about it in your in your um, private island. So you can also um so and if you don't want anyone to go in your place you can like unlock it to your friends or just lock where no one can go in at all. So yeah. So there are many ways to make money um, and like so one way to make money is to like gather some resources and sell them. You can like gather resources or sell like some horses you get and so right here is so you see I gathered some resources over here so I gathered some logs and right now. You're gonna go to Larry, this guy. So Larry's everywhere, so you can sell your stuff anywhere. So you're gonna sell, or you can buy stuff. So I'm gonna sell these logs. You can tell how much you can, you can choose how much you're gonna sell. So I'm gonna sell all of them. And see, it, you can buy your item for 24 tokens. So, And also, how to make some stuff, I think you could do like also some quests. So right here, I have some of these quests I need to complete. So when you complete these, like it says, bring half a log and nine silver ore, 
You see, I get this amount of money, but you can also get some other stuff. Um, yeah, so you can get money from this. Depends on how the crust is and how much money you get. And also you got this like cash out where basically in like 40, for each 40 minutes, you can get money. And you can also pay Robux for some coins, but that one isn't really free, so... So right here in Mainland is about all the updates. So it basically says the latest update over here, which was the Beat the Summer update. And they'll say the next update, which they're going to have, which where the summer is going to end. So this board will show you all the updates. And speaking of updates, there is the, was the summer update. So right here was the summer update. They had this whole like summer area over here for the new update and they also added like a new race which at the end you would get um, watermelons. So over here um, they also added a slide and three new horses and three new horses and you can get coral on the, around the beach, like um, around the shores and the beach right here. So as you can see by my resources, I have some coral, which you can also craft into like some dye, color it, color all your accessories and stuff. And this is only a limited until the summer update ends. So it's, it goes away until it, it goes away at when the summer update ends. They also got some quests which I am actually on right now. See, I bring Sunny some coral, so basically he's gonna ask you to bring coral, and you'll get coral on the side of the beaches. Usually I will go near the dock, that's the best place to go in. Near the dock is a bunch of coral, and you'll find some coral that you'll bring to Skepp's cow, that you'll bring to um, Sunny. So right now I can just show you how what you would get from Sunny when you bring him some coral. So I got some like accessories, some summer accessories. I got like this paper crown made of like um, beach ball colors and um, also like more of these. Like I got there's some beach ball, a tailbone made of um, beach balls. And so we're gonna talk that. Yeah. And he also has like a voice. So, um, so about the quest. And I got this life ring. So you got some more summer summer stuff. And so yeah. So you just ask for like a bunch of coral and you give her some like summer stuff. So for like customizing your horse and getting like this stuff like bridles and saddles, you could get from like Abby and Sweetie. So basically Sweetie does hair dyes and Abby does some accessories. So I'll show you how it works. So for this one I actually used um, a black hair dye for this so you can see right here it's a dye black and you can also style your hair so I styled it long wavy and I also yeah so right here it would have like some hair dyes so it's ran it, you only get three dyes and it's like Alex Sweetie has new hair dyes for sale and Abby has accessories for sale so like each, so you might not have the one you want, so you just gotta wait until I had new hair dye. So right now there's like liver chestnut and dark green and black, black red. So the middle ones always cost Robux and like, and also, so Sweetie also styles the hair. So for example, I'm just gonna use this horse and basically I'll just say this, this or this, or so the more the more expensive it is like on the 
would go over here, and like the least extension, it would go over here. So you get to you can do any of these, and also you got you can you can do your tail. Yeah, so that's about it. And Abby and Abby um, does um, accessories. So she has like a bunch of random accessories. So basically, she has like this head bow, like so it's a like, texture light blue lilac plaid. So, and if you don't really like these accessories here, you can craft your own. So you can like go over here, so like bridle, I'll take, I'm gonna get this bridle. You could see your tire, so basically be, let's, let's say I have a uh, emerald. You see that, it changed right there. So it would have like that metal over there. Or like your quartz, or yeah, so any of them. Just, or you can just do default if you want to save your stuff. Um, and you can do any of like, these colors, and, but it all requires like one thing. So basically, like an orange, you would have orange, or like orange pearl, you would have orange sea cell and some pearls. So yeah, and coral blue, coral green, you would just require some coral. So um, yeah. And you can also do like saddles and accessories so you can make some polo wraps. So like these will go around your horse. And you can make them any color too. So that is about it for like your like designing, customizing your horse. So to upgrade your horse stats, so you can see your stats right here. So right now I have them all maxed out. So your happiness, you can't really change, you can't change that for your horse. So it can stay like that. And how to match your horse, you're going to go to Steven, horse trainer. So you can change my horse. And you know, I'd say like, you can see it on the max. So yeah, it'll tell like how the max, like of how much you can go to. So you can just plus plus, and it'll be like how much money it'll be like some money it costs to like make it better and to also upgrade your horse you can like it also gets levels the more time it's like out the more time it's like outside you need it um, you like take the more time you like leave it out and like you walk with it it gets gains level I'm not really sure what it does I'm not really sure what it does, the levels. Maybe it makes your horse better, but this can just show like the level. Alright, so first we have the quarter horse. So I think this is like the least of rarest horse. Now you can find, so basically, you can find them. Next we have the, the Apollosa horse. So, I think these are like the second, uh, second least rarest horses. So like basically like on top of like quarter horse. Um, next, which I believe to be rarer than the Apollosa. So next we have the pink horse, which I think is rarer than the Apollosa. So I think they're a bit more than Apollosa. And yeah. Next we have is the Mustang horse. So like sometimes it could have like some rare quartz or alright, so um I think these are probably on top like third least rarest to like like um, a close horse, it's like just the breed if it has like a normal coat. Like, for example, this is like a rare coat. You see that? Like overall coats and uh, and also the Tobano coat, like boxing Tobano coats. Like you see, it could be kind of rare. Like if they have rare coats. So I think like it just has a normal, not rare coat. It could be like rare. So yeah. Now, now the next one we have is the 
Fjord. Fjords. And I feel like these are on top of my sink because I never really see them. Like if we like look over like here. I mean they're not like that that rare, but I don't really see them that often more than like more than not like more than like mustangs or quarter horses or appaloosa horse. Cause those are like everywhere. Right there, like an appaloosa horse, like yeah, you can basically see like more apollosa and you can see a quarter horse over there. And usually there's like a mustang, but they're a bit more rarer than them. So I never really see these guys. But they're not that that rare, so you can find them, but I don't I think they're kinda of rarer than like mustangs. Next are the Andalusians. Cause I think they are rare. Cause like I think I can do you can find them in the wild, not pretty, not like, it's pretty hard to find them in the wild, but it's possible, well, like, it wouldn't take a lot of turns dry so I could get one, so I think they'll be like, next I think are the Thoroughbred, which are rarer than Andalusians, so I think they're rarer than Andalusian, because I can't like, I think I caught like a few, like I saw them like a few times in the wild. Like I also like caught, I also caught them. You can see right here, I caught like this one and also this one. I caught both of those and so that's why I think these are rarer than Andalusian because these are pretty, these are pretty rare horses, but I think they're like not super, super rare. I think these are pretty rare. Just a fun fact, they're actually racing horses. They're used for racing horses, mostly. These thoroughbreds. So these guys are pretty fast. Next we have like the Arabian. So I think the Arabian are rarer than thoroughbreds. I think these guys are pretty rare. I saw them only in the wild like once. I didn't get to caught it. But um Yeah, so I think these guys are pretty rare. Um And I really like how they look kind of different than the others. Like as you can see they look pretty different than the others. Because like some of them are Pretty different. Like I don't see any really any difference between the Appaloosa and the quarter horses, but I think these guys are. Like, I know like Arabian like when I see one. And like, well, next we have the free stand. I think these guys are rarer than Arabian because I only caught this one in the wild. I only caught one in the wild um, once, and this is the one I caught in the wild. So it has like a 0 0.008, which is pretty rare. So, and I never really ever like seen one in the wild before, ever then. So, I think these guys are pretty rare. And I really, I feel like, I really like these horses. Like, they're my second favorite horses out of this game. And the last and not least, I feel like the Clyde are like the, I feel like Clyde are the rarest one. Because I never ever seen them in the wild. Like, the rarest one that catch in the wild. I never ever seen one in the wild, and usually they're just brought. So like, I think they're the rarest one to find in the wild, because all of these are never been like, they've never been caught in the wild. So I think the guys are pretty rare. I think they're pretty rare, because I never ever seen one in the wild. And look, all the Clyde sales I have that I got from trading. Trading, I got, they weren't even caught in the wild, so I think these guys are rare. And these are my favorite horses. I just really like those hooves. Like, the Clydesdales are used for like pulling because they're super strong. And like, that's a fact. But I really like like those bottom things, and like they're still giant, they're more giant than the others. Like, for example, we can just go down here and compare ourselves with the other horses. There. You see that? There's like a ribbon over there, and let's just compare. Now look how gigantic that is. 
super taller than them. Yeah, they're super strong. So yeah, you can see that. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And um, I really, really like this game because I also really love, love horses. Um, so it would be great if you can play too. And maybe you can play it with me. So, um, yeah, um, I hope you learned a lot if you're going to play the game. And, um, 